Hi Ronies, this is your pal Ronnie K95. So today I'm gonna be doing my horror movie collection, which I got here. I got a whole bunch of horror movies right here for the horror movie collection. Today, under Ronnie K95 reviews variety. So today we're gonna here to review because I got a whole bunch of horror movies I have here. Here we got the four horror movie collector set. This has the Kraken, the Tentacles of the Deep, Raging Sharks, and Ice Shadow, and the Howling 4. I like the Howling first one a lot more because it features Dee Wallace, John Carradine, Slim Pickens on there because you gotta like those like horror movies. Sorry, I did not know what that was. Barking. Barking at was. It was like a dog. Probably a husky I hear out there. Anyway, so that's the Howling, Night Shadow, Raging Sharks, and Kraken, Tentacle Coast of the Deep. This is basically like, I guess you want to call it like four movie pack horror movies, because you can tell it's got the Howling and Night Shadow on there. I mean, Night Shadow's like like 80's TV movie. That's just a little bit of public domain, but Howling, not public domain, but it's basically like a horror movie. I'll probably get the Howling on DVD from Screen Factory at some point. You gotta love the Howling. Reanimator, it's basically like, I got this at a used bookstore for 10 bucks, and this is actually like a horror movie. You gotta love Reanimator. This is basically, I guess you wanna call it like 80s cheesy horror movies. You can tell it's basically from the 80s feel to this. This comes with a little slip thing on the chapter select, and on the back, like an 80s horror movie poster style thing I like. Pretty cool. I love this kind. And yeah, so this was released at um, Anchor Bay, I guess. There's another movie I wanted to find for my horror movie collection called Legend of the Boggy Creek. I, I, I think I still have it. I think we got, I got it I was like Long's Drugs or something. That's Reanimator. Um, the next one is Pet Cemetery. I This is basically like, I guess you want to call it like 1989 horror movies. You can tell it's about... It's based on the novel by Stephen King on there, and it has came out in 1989. I mean, because you, there was a Indian burial ground, um, which that pet cemetery is a tiny patch, and so it becomes sometimes dead is better. That's what I hear in the movie. Pet Cemetery. Then what do you hear in the rest of the movie? And it did features Fred Jewin from you know, Herman Munster himself from the Munsters on Pet Cemetery, and it's got the song by the Ramones at the end of the movie. But when the truck driver was listening to the Ramones, it was Sheena as a punk rocker. And next we got Day of the Dead and Shaun of the Dead. Shaun of the Dead is basically like a horror comedy type movie. I guess you want to call it like that. You can tell it is like a parody. It has that music from Dawn of the, the original Dawn of the Dead at the end of the movie. People like the the new Dawn of the Dead. I like the original Dawn of the Dead because the director of Night of the Living Dead is the best man. And Day of the Dead is, features Nick Cannon from Monster House on there. I haven't watched Day of the Dead. I'll probably rewatch it at some point. And next we got Silver Bullet, the best Stephen King horror movie. It features Corey Haim from The Lost Boys on there. Because, this, you know, the priest becomes a werewolf in Silver Bullet. You gotta love that movie. And next we got the Legacy Collection of Universal Monsters. I, I can't find Dra Frankenstein one, but I'll probably get rebuy it at some point. We have The Wolfman and Dracula. We all know it has Frankenstein. She was from London, Werewolf of London, and Frankenstein meets the Wolfman on there. For Dracula, this includes the Phil, the, original, the Philip Glass score and the original score on there, and the Spanish version of Dracula, with, and it has introduction with Lupita Towar, Dracula's daughter, House of Dracula, and Son of Dracula on there. Great stuff. 
It has Frankenstein, Ghost Frankenstein House Frankenstein on there. On the Frankenstein one. And next we have Couple Pop out by Poltergeist Movies. We have the original 1982 Poltergeist Movies. And Poltergeist 2 and 3. I used to have it on VHS, but I think it's in the garage. I'll probably get it at some point at your leisure. But this is all I got are a couple by Poltergeist movies. If you're looking for some good horror movies that's going to mess up your mind, get Poltergeist. Um, we have Return of the Vampire. This is actually a 1943 Bela Lugosi movie. He was Dracula in 1931 Dracula movie. Yep. And this DVD has a trailer. Yeah, has trailers for Bram Stoker's Dracula, which we'll get to after I talk this. I think I watched this last year. It was pretty good. It's a classic horror movie. You can watch it on Halloween if you want to. There's a horror movie I wanted to get. Our Halloween with Michael Myers. That's another one I need to get in the same genre, as well as Jason and Freddy Krueger and Chucky. That's another ones I need to get. Oh, and the 1997 horror movie Anaconda. That's basically like a a horror movie from 97. Here's Bram Stoker's Dracula with Gary Oldman. I love this movie. I used to have it on VHS, but I kind of lost it. So I, don't worry, I got it on DVD. The Blu-ray's out. I'll probably find it at some point. But this is the 1999 DVD release. 7 release, I guess. I love the DVD cover. It's basically looked like my, my old VHS tape. It's got... I mean, Sir Anthony Hopkins is the best. Oh, and Gary Oldman, because there's three Winter Academy Awards. It features Winona Ryder from Beetlejuice and Keanu Reeves from Bill and Ted on there. Gary Oldman was on The Dark Knight Rises and Sid and Nancy. And he was on other films like The Unborn. I'll probably get The Unborn at some point. Oh, Dracula with Gary Oldman's a lot like the book I have read. Here we have Stephen King. Here we have this a DVD. If those who are f afraid of clowns will have hate for clowns, Stephen King's It. This is actually the mini series. This features Tim Curry it, from the Rocky Horror Picture Show, and Richard Thomas from the Waltons, and Tim Reed and Harry Anderson and Dennis Christopher. You got. You may. I may have seen the 2017 movie. But this is all. This is what the start takes place in the like late fifties, early sixties. But for the twenty seventeen Stephen King's It movie, takes place more like in the eight late eighties. Because I've seen Henry Henry Bowers' friends in the new Stephen King's It movie was wearing like a Anthrax shirt and then later with a Metallica shirt. Because it's pure eighties, I find it in the twenty seventeen Stephen King's It movie. But this is like the miniseries. There is a two part. VHS volume of Stephen King's Ed, I'll probably get it at some point, because I have the VCR if you're a horror collector. New Year's Evil. This is basically, I guess you want to call it, like, canon video, slasher horror movie, cheesiness movies. It's pretty damn good. It features Ross Kelly from the TV show Happy Days on there. And I'm a huge fan of the, the rock group Shadow that you see in the movie New Year's Evil. You gotta love New Year's Evil. I watch this horror slasher schlock from the 80s every New Year's. Like, you know, New Year's Eve. I probably... It's... And the Blu-ray release of New Year's Evil has the new content on there. But this DVD doesn't have the content. I'll probably get it on Blu-ray. Because it has the new content and... How, has the, the actors how they interview about the movie New Year's Evil. I'll probably get it on Blu-ray from Scream Factory at some point. Great movie. It has my favorite scene in New Year's Eve is the drive-in theme, where it shows the, the red the Red Queen kills seven times. It's just actually like an Italian horror movie. That's a great Italian horror movie from the seventies. I like. And next we got some more other horror movies. We got Misery, American Psycho, and The Exorcism of Emily Rose. I mean, American Psycho. That's it. I have it on DVD from Universal, but it has like a Lionsgate Films logo. I go, serious? I, why does it show Lionsgate on there? It, well, it, well, it have it on Universal, but in that case, that's the figures. The, the feature is Reese Witherspoon and Willem Dafoe from Platoon and Christian Bale from the Dark Knight movie. Put the Batman himself in American Psycho movie. And 
Exorcism of Emily Rose, and Misery, with James Caan and Kathy Bates. Great horror movie. Because we're running out of time here. We got Taste of Blood of Dracula with Christopher Lee. I got this at Hollywood Video. It's a great hammer horror films. Because you gotta love those hammer horror movies. Blue and Satanic Rides of Dracula. And The Others is actually like another horror movie with Nicole Kidman. Found it and it was in my closet. I go, how did that got there? The Birds with Alfred Hitchcock. That's a great horror movie from Alfred Hitchcock. Sharktopus is actually like... Like, I guess you want to call it, like, sci-fi horror movie, sci-fi channel horror movies. Monster Squad, this is actually like a bootleg I got, I think it was from an eBay seller, what it was. And Black Sheep, this is actually, like, one of those that you want to call, like, horror movies from New Zealand. And The Sixth Sense with Bruce Willis, a supernatural horror movie. Zombieland. I got this, you want to call, I guess you want to call it like, blockbuster horror hits. It's like Super Bad meets Shaun of the Dead, it says, can you believe that it says that? And it did feature Bill Murray in, in the movie. And we got Hannibal Rising, it's about Hannibal Lecter. I, I, ha I used to have Hannibal on VHS, but I think I left it. But I'll probably read by Hannibal with Anthony Hopkins at some point. Oh, and Silence of the Lambs. I, I've seen that movie, Silence of the Lambs. And here we have the 15 film, horror films you do not watch alone. I guess you want to call it like 15, 15 pack horror movies. It features Night of the Living Dead, House on Haunted Hill with Vincent Price, Carnival of Souls, I Bury the Living, The Undertaker and His Pals. The Undertaker and His Pals is not a horror movie, it's actually like a comedy, like a Three Stooges one. But it kills and all that. The Ghost, Dominique is Dead, Bloody Pit of Horror, Nightmare Castle, Dementia 3, Dracula and his, Count Dracula and His Brides, another Hammer Horror film, Last Man on Earth with Vincent Price, Fangs of the Living Dead, The Peaks, and Blood Tide with James Earl Jones and Martin Cove, who was on the episode of the Incredible Hulk final round, and he was on Shadow Assassin from Kung Fu The Legend Continues, and Return to Shadow Assassin, and he was on all three Karate Kid movies in the 80s. Dog Soldiers, I love this movie. I mean, look how weird the covers look like monkeys, but on the back, look like real werewolves. Does it look like anything from the cover look like monkeys on there? No. They look like werewolves on the cover. I think I have it on VHS, but I kind of still have it, but I got the DVD, don't worry. But Dog Soldiers is probably like one of my favorite horror movies. And we're running out of time here. We got some more horror movies I have. The Ring, The Ring 2, Tales from the Crypt, Vault of Horror, and Jeepers Creepers. No horror movie collection is complete without them. Oh, and there's another one I'm going to get called Silent Night, Deli Night. It's in the same genre. That's it for the horror movie collection, so thanks for watching. So like, subscribe, favorite, put the comment section below, put it on your Facebook and your Twitter, and share this video on your Twitter, and post this video on your Facebook, and share this video on your Facebook with your friends and Twitter, and that's it. So like, subscribe, favorite. Follow me everything, so follow me on RuroniK95 on YouTube, and keep it otaku, Ruronis. Because this is my all my horror collection.